Welcome to my channel, Tommy V. Sweating it out, grand out. Hey, I just wanted to give y'all a tip on catching pogies. It's hot as heck, 90 degrees, no wind, and uh, a new way of catching some pogies that, that I, I learned this year. I was holding back on y'all, but I'm gonna give you the secret right here. I'm in, I'm in 20, 21 feet of water in Bayou Rigo. You see right here by this, where this company is right here? And all you see right there at 10 feet, that's all pogies. I'm letting the net fall to 10 feet. And then after that, I, I pick it up. Cause if you go, once you feel it, you, you hold the lanyard, you hold the lanyard while, while the net is sinking, you hold the la lanyard like in your hand and you'll be able to feel a little vibration when the net hits them. And you give it about two seconds after the net hits them and then pull it in at 10 feet. That's the key to getting them in this hot weather. They down deep. Uh, and this is what it looks like if you stopped. So I recommend moving to find them. Move about uh, three miles an hour. You'll see how it changes, how, how, how it looks like pogies. You, you know, a bunch of salt and pepper, I call it. And we might've passed them up, but that's where y'all saw when I first came on, how, what, what it looked like. There it is, they right there, you see them? 10 feet, 13 feet, 15 feet. You don't go to the bottom. If you go to the bottom, you might come up with some cats. And when you feel that land, you start vibrating. That's all pogies right there. I'm going about three, three miles an hour. And, and and you don't want the motor running when you cast. You, you're going like, like we are here and you just cut it off and glide into that spot. And once you cast and you and you got, you feel that land, that land you vibrate, you pull it up and you got a net full. Well, move a little bit more. Don't throw in the same spot, maybe twice in the same spot, but you got to move a little bit. Uh, but that's all pogies are in there, thick, thick, and they're the perfect size. They're the perfect size. You know, ones I got in there, I mean, perfect. I'm going solo, so I only have about 75. That's all I need. I'm just going to make a couple hour little trip right here and see what happens. It's been tough on the trout, but that's my secret that uh, how to get pogies uh, pretty easy. We're not going in the golf and we're not, and the right size. It's the bottom line is all about the right size. Tommy V reporting live from Grand Isle. Give it a shot. See if you can catch them pogies. Use your GPS.